And so we need to prepare. We need to prepare. We need to prepare as much as possible. We need to practice. We need to practice in the mirror. Nowadays, with cell phones, you have the luxury of talking to yourself in your car, and no one will think you're crazy. <laughs> they will think you're on your phone. So we should practice. You should practice your lines. You should practice them in front of people who are not lawyers. You should practice them in front of your spouses. You should find out from people, does this make sense to you? Now, there's a difference between opening and closing. Opening, we have to tell the story with the facts. Closing, we have to argue the story. And so you're doing some of the same things. You are still the center of the attention. You are still trying to grab the listener. You are now using recency, the last thing that they hear. And you are still using the same tools. You're still preparing. The difference is, is that with closing, you have to be more, more flexible. Now, why is that? Because in the opening, we assume and believe this is what's going to come out. By the time we get to closing, we're going to know, here's what really came out. We assume how a witness is going to appear, in part because we've in civil cases deposed them, and we have some thoughts about how they're going to appear. By closing, it may be that they got cleaned up a lot. And the things that we thought we wanted to say in closing, we probably shouldn't say because it doesn't come across as well, because the evidence came out in a different way. So you have to have the flexibility in closing to make some alterations of that preparation to make certain that it matches up with the evidence, both because it will make more relevance. More importantly, if you don't match up with the evidence, you make it an objection. <laughs>